A system is trying to determine whether an email is a spam or not spam based on two pieces of evidence. One is evidence from content analysis which suggests the email is a spam with 60% certainty and the second is Hello everyone and welcome to Being Passionate Learner. I hope you all are doing well. I am Dr. Padmapani Tribhuvan and in this video I am going to discuss Damster Shepherd theory which is a powerful framework for reasoning under uncertainty. Have you ever wondered how intelligent systems make decisions when faced with incomplete or conflicting information whether it's a self-driving car processing sensors data or a spam filter deciding if an email is spam uncertainty is everywhere that's where damster shepherd theory comes into play in this video we will explore how this theory handles uncertainty by combining evidence and helping us make better decisions here is what we are going to cover in this video first we will start with a quick introduction to need for reasoning frameworks like damster shepherd theory that is dst then we will explore the key concepts belief possibility and evidence then we will compare bayesian reasoning and dst after that i will walk you through steps to apply dst and demonstrate it with a solved example and then we will discuss real world applications of dst and lastly we will discuss advantages and challenges of dst so if you are ready to master the art of handling uncertainty let's get started introduction in ai and decision making systems we often encounter uncertainty due to incomplete or conflicting information uncertainty arises when exact knowledge is unavailable traditional probabilistic methods like bayesian reasoning rely on prior probabilities while bayesian reasoning is widely used damster shepherd theory offers a flexible alternative dst separates belief possibility and evidence allowing us to work with uncertainty in a broader context key concept now let's dive into key concepts of dst belief belief is the degree of evidence supporting a hypothesis belief represents the support that evidence provides to a hypothesis then possibility possibility is the degree to which a hypothesis could be true given the evidence possibility measures how much we cannot disprove the hypothesis based on the available evidence finally evidence evidence is the information that supports one or more hypotheses evidence is the raw data or information that forms the basis for our reasoning now let's see mathematical representation dst operates on a set of hypotheses called framework descendment the belief function quantifies the total support for a hypothesis while possibility represents the extent of uncertainty about the hypothesis these are calculated using mass functions that assign weights to subsets of hypotheses belief function is calculated as belief of a is equals to summation of m of b where m of b is a mass function of b and b is a subset of a possibility function possibility of a is calculated as possibility of a is equals to 1 minus belief of negation of a where belief of negation of a is the belief in the complement of a that is the degree of support for negation of a 1 minus belief of negation of a is the total amount of a support that is not committed to the complement of a leaving room for a to be true how does dst differs from bayesian reasoning we will now compare dst and bayesian reasoning on three aspects evidence prior knowledge and hypothesis support evidence bayesian reasoning requires precise probabilities for all possible events or outcomes for example in bayesian inference you need exact values for the likelihood of evidence given each hypothesis this means it works best when the 
probabilities are well defined and reliable. On the other hand, DST is designed to handle partial evidence or incomplete information. Instead of requiring exact probabilities, it allows for representation of uncertainty using basic probability assignments that is mass functions. This makes it particularly useful in scenarios where evidence is weak, incomplete or conflicting. Prior knowledge Bayesian reasoning depends heavily on prior probabilities. While powerful, this reliance on a priors can be a limitation if no reliable prior knowledge is available or if the choice of priors is subjective. In contrast, DST does not require prior probabilities. Instead, it focuses entirely on the available evidence, letting us combine and analyze information without making assumptions about prior distributions. This feature makes DST a more flexible approach when prior knowledge is uncertain or unavailable. Hypothesis support In Bayesian reasoning, the result is an exact probability for each hypothesis. For example, after applying Bayes' theorem, you can say there is a 70% probability that a hypothesis is true. This precise nature makes Bayesian reasoning highly interpretable but also dependent on the accuracy of the input probabilities. DST on the other hand provides two majors, belief and possibility. Belief represents the minimum support or confidence for a hypothesis based on the evidence that directly supports it and possibility represents the maximum possible support considering all evidence that does not contradict the hypothesis. The application of DST involves four main steps. Define the frame of discernment, assign basic probability masses, that is M of A to subsets, combine evidence using Damster's rule of combination. This rule is given as M of C is equals to summation of A intersection B is equals to C, M1 of A into M2 of B divided by 1 minus summation of A intersection B is equals to MT, M1 of A into M2 of B. The formula calculates the combined basic probability assignment for a subset C of the frame of discernment theta, which is denoted as M of C. The basic probability assignment M1 and M2 represent the evidence provided by two independent sources. Fourth step is calculate belief and possibility for hypotheses. Now let's apply these steps on a problem. Consider a problem identifying a suspicious email. A system is trying to determine whether an email is a spam or not spam based on two pieces of evidence. One is evidence from content analysis which suggests the email is a spam with 60% certainty. And the second is evidence from sender reputation. It suggests that the email is a spam with 70% certainty. Now we will calculate the combined belief using Damster's rule of combination. Step 1. First we will define our frame of discernment which includes all possible outcomes. The email is either spam or not spam. So it will be theta is equals to spam not spam. This forms the basis of our reasoning. The next step is to assign basic probability masses. For content analysis, we assign a 60% probability to email being spam, so it is 0.6, 30% it being not spam, that is 0.3, and 10% to uncertainty, that is 0.1. Similarly, for sender reputation, we assign 70% to spam, that is 0.7. 20% to not spam that is 0.2 and 10% to uncertainty that is 0.1. Then apply Damster's rule of combination. So for this we need to calculate the intersection of all possible pairs of evidence. So we have 9 different pairs of evidence. So we will calculate intersection of all these pairs and then we will calculate M1 of A into M2 of B. Let's consider A is a spam and B is also spam. So intersection would be spam. Then we will calculate M1 of A into M2 of B. So it will be 0.6 into 0.7 which is 0.42. 
Similarly, we will calculate for all the pair. Normalizing the masses. So we will first calculate conflict, which is denoted as a K. So it will be sum of masses where A intersection B is empty. So we got K is equals to 0 0.12 plus 0 0.21 is equals to 0 0.33. Then we will calculate normalization factor which is 1 minus k which is 1 minus 0 0.33 which is equals to 0 0.67. After this we will normalize actually the masses. So for that we will use uh, this Damster's rule of combination. So we will get m of spam is equals to 0 0.42 plus 0 0.06 plus 0 0.07 divided by 0 0.67 is equals to 0 0.55 divided by 0 0.67 which is approximately equal to 0 0.82. Then we will calculate m of not spam which is equals to 0 0.06 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.02 divided by 0 0.67 which is equals to 0 0.11 divided by 0 0.67 which is approximately equal to 0 0.16. Then we will calculate m of uncertainty which is equals to 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.67 which is approximately equals to 0 0.015. So after normalization the masses for spam becomes 0 0.82, for not spam it is 0 0.16 and for uncertainty it is approximately 0 0.015. Step 4. The final belief values indicates 82% confidence that the email is spam, 16% that it is not spam and uncertainty of 1.5%. Based on these results, the system would classify the email as a spam. This example demonstrates how DST allows us to combine multiple sources of evidence while accounting for uncertainty. It's a powerful tool for reasoning under uncertainty in AI systems. Applications in AI and decision making. DST finds applications in various fields in expert systems, it aids in tasks like medical or fault diagnosis. In robotics, it is used for sensor fusion, combining data from multiple sources. DST is also valuable in decision support systems for handling uncertainty in areas like risk analysis and financial modeling. Now let's see advantages and challenges. DST offers unique advantages such as handling partial and conflicting evidence without requiring prior probabilities. However, it also has challenges including computational complexity and the subjective nature of assigning mass functions. And let's wrap up our journey into fascinating world of damster Sheffer theory. We started by understanding the key concepts like belief, possibility and evidence. Then we explore how it stands apart from Bayesian reasoning giving us a unique way to handle uncertainty. Then we also went through the step to apply DST and work through one example. Finally, we looked at the applications, advantages and challenges of DST. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more contents on AI and computer science engineering topics. If you have any questions or thoughts to share, drop them in the comment below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Till then, being passionate learner, keep learning. Thank you.